Hey, hello everybody, it is I, Master Monsters, bringing you a brand new Let's Play. Hold on, let me do this. No pitch. Oop. There, sorry about that. And this is a, quite possibly my favorite DS game, not maybe even counting Pokemon. Dragon Ball Z and the Attack of the Saiyans. Now, I promise you guys I would do the hardest game I ever played. I tried. I tried. I, I nearly cried at it. I had to reset four times in the whole playthrough. All on screen. Due to one douchebaggy thing. One was a game over. Because the other was like, the other three were game, two were game overs. Because Raditz got a continuous hit on Piccolo there for killing him. It was Dragon Ball Z Legend of the Super Saiyan. And I thought I'd do the next best thing and do another Dragon Ball Z RPG game. Yeah, Raditz is a fucking bot. Pain in that game. Got like four continuous hits in a row, which was basically critical hits. Is where our amazing, astounding, astounding, and altogether astonishing story begins. After the ferocious battle against King Piccolo, Goku met with Connie. To get well, she might have had a very deep, thunderous voice, so let's probably get something like that. Together, they successfully resurrected Shinron, the eternal dragon. He revived all his friends who had lost their lives against P King Piccolo. With that task done, Goku des decided himself to train on Kami's watchful eye. The moment of departure towards the ever greater heights. What cool things against good cutscenes? Come on, everywhere, Master Roshi is waiting for you. When we're done packing up food and everything. Get down there and let's get moving. Zzz. Snar. Zzz. Goku, thanks for reviving me. That next world martial arts tournament is. I swear I'm gonna. Zzz. Krillin, hello. Uh, what's going on? Oh, hey, launch. Oh, hi. Good morning. Uh, uh, achoo! Oh, crap. Uh, sure cold one today, huh? Yeah, it certainly is. Ah, ah! No, 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 no! You know what happens when Launch sneezes, right? Achoo! She becomes a bitch. Listen up, you freaks! How much longer are you gonna be sleeping, eh? You wanna keep the turtle armor waiting all day? Get your lazy butts to out of bed now! Yeah, sure. First off, first, I'm a fair character. And as you can see, this is a Dragon Ball Z RPG. And anyone has her basic statistics. Krillin, he. He's fast. And he's kind of powerful. Honestly, he's pretty much a weaker version of Yancha. Tien, he has really good power and tech, and he's kind of frail. In a way, I guess they can. If you don't. Well, I was comparing to Pokemon anyway. Tien is basically artillery, he's fast, powerful. I mean, he's powerful on both, on, um, both sides of the coin, but he's very frail. Krillin is basically like Persian, he's fast, but nothing else. Well, Yamcha is fast and kind of powerful. 
So I guess he's kind of like, um, I don't know. Krillin has a lot of luck. Ho oh, ho ho! Glad to see you all there! So what's the deal, yo, Billyo? What's the deal anyway? What'd you wake us up so early for? Well, I thought I'd give you your final exam before you graduated from my training. Say what? Final exam? Yes, indeed. You say that, Master, but we're so inexperienced. <sighs> Sorry, I just woke up. There was so much more for us to learn from you. Master Roshi's always kind of creeped me out. He, you know, now, I'm just now starting to realize how much the Pervy Sage in Naruto is kind of, not, I want to say a ripoff of Master Roshi, but he's very similar. I mean, I guess it, the old perverted master might be a whole trope. I really don't know because I don't watch much anime. Oh, don't be silly. All you are far more powerful than by me now. That is much plain to see. I mean, the only animes I watch is Sergeant Frog. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Soul Eater, that's probably it, there might be a few more, oh yeah, and Hitalia, duh, I kind of forgot that, it's my favorite anime, thus, but the training I am about to assign will likely be the last I'm taking on my watch. Watch some Death Note. Not really my style. Kind of like Inuyasha. Just haven't really watched it in a while. So, what do you guys to do, Master? South of here, you'll find a small island. Oh, I'm trying to get into FMA too, because that. I feel really good things about that. Oh, you mean the place where you had me and Goku make those milk deliveries? Yep. There's a cave on the island, deep inside. You should find a little crystal ball. Our mission is to find that crystal ball and bring it back here. Yes, master. Of course, I'm not going to let you be cruel now. You'll find a few useful items in all of your inventories. Free of charge. I kind of want to get some battle in this video. Oh, and a small update. Thank you. There was actually a bug in my... You remember my Final Fantasy Let's Play? I won't be uploading that for a little while. Just a little while. Mainly because, um... The ROM kind of right on my data... Luckily, I wasn't very far. No, I also do it. Although, I can't decide if I'm going to use the same party or edit a little. Also, I am making a game in RPG Engine VX. Got some pretty cool scripts in it. Oh, you had to sell an island of. There's just an island in Pokemon. What legendary could you get there? Was it Mew? Well, before you leave, uh, let me explain this mark means. It is known as a Capsule Corp Point. It's a facility put by Capsule Corporation. 
Try looking at it, okay? This is basically a save point. I could have sworn I had some save data. Oh, yeah. As you can see, you put a couple and houses and rest. As well as to save your progress. You will also find them inside cities and dungeons, so check them out when you see them. Now, let me start with this. Have I ever beat this game? No. Have. Do I want to beat it? Hell yeah. I think it was some save bug. I was really far in it and delete my progress. And I'm the kind of person who, after something like ha that happens, I just don't feel like playing it anymore. I think if we get some battles in, because it's an auto battle thingy. Huh? There's something. There's something nearby. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! You run into the cows during your travels to feed them. Lose. I guess because it has some cool elements. For example, as you can see, you have attack, you have your super attack, and you, that S right there is actually your super move, as in saying that would take up your rage meter, which is the fire thing on the side, and perform a really powerful move. But the thing is, there's also triple super attack, so all your characters use a super attack at once. Nope. Ace, like a. There's also triple super attacks where all your characters will use skills at once. Do a really powerful And then there's like mega attacks with every character uses a, their rage move at once. And it's. It gets pretty cool. In the. Um, early, I'm just gonna blow them away. I don't recommend using Tri Beam on TN too much because it actually takes away of himself. So I just use Fierce Attack. And this punch is snake in the face. Carrots can also get continuous hits if they hit more than they really should. The quote you launch from when the old Budokai games I never played. Or I played them some of them, I just haven't played that one. How do I go on with like this? I already said that really fast and pretty bad voice acting in it. Calm me, calm me. Ah! Victory! Now I'll try to get at least one level up on screen. I was a surprise, sure thing, they weren't too tough. Only that was in any an experience. Okay, I think I'll end off now and do some off screen drawing.